So, this is my new purchase. My Stratus Grey BMW 3 litre coupe. E86. So this is the 3 litre SI. There was two options for this in the coupe. If you weren't buying the, the Z4M, it was the SI spec or the SE spec. SE spec, I believe, was the, well, it was the lower spec model. Um, it was sort of the entry level. Uh, this improves upon that being the SI. It's the same engine, but you get sort of more bolster to the seats. You get a sport button interior. Um, the steering, sort of, I believe, weightens up a little bit. It, it makes it a little bit stiffer, uh, along with the throttle response when you press that steering button. Uh, I'm not claiming to be any expert on this, it's just what I've read. Um, you also had 17-inch alloys on the SE and 18-inch on the SI. Uh, this has actually got aftermarket alloys on. Um, and also I think you had better suspension components, uh, stiffer springs and better a better damping rate. So this is the, as I say, this is the, uh, the 3-litre SI coupe. For me, it had to be the coupe. There's just too many of the convertible Z4s. I like to have something that's a little bit rarer. Um, I don't like having something that's too run of the mill. So, uh, and I thought with these, they're not a huge amount of money. Whether or not they're appreciating, depreciating, who's, who's to know, who's to tell over the next couple of years. But I thought because of the rarity of them, at least they're not going to plummet in value. They've done the most of the depreciation already. And I think it's just a fabulous looking car. That's what I've changed it from, Civic Type R FN2, Deep Sapphire Blue Pearl, uh, that's one of 113 in that colour. Again, not the rarest car, but one of the rarest colours for it. I think only the, uh, the bronze was a rarer colour, and realistically no one wants a brown car, so that's probably why it was rare. So this has got TSW Bathurst alloys, these are the same as standard size on the SI spec, so they're 18 inch. Uh, I'm not sure about the width of the standard, these are 255 rear, 225 or 235 front, I'm not sure. Um, I've just been sort of through the car, giving it a, a quick clean. Number plate will be changing. I've only had the car for a week so far, so I'm kind of used to it, but there's still the little quirks with it I'm getting used to. Uh, the exhaust is something I probably will look at doing. I never did on my Civic, but I am anticipating that I'll, uh, I'll put some form of exhaust on. Sorry, back to the alloys, TSW Bathurst 18 inch. These have a, a slightly wider offset than the standard tyre, so it just brings them out flush with the bodywork. No rubbing, they fit absolutely perfectly. Uh, I think they're a, a great looking wheel. This is the Stratus Grey. As you can see, it gives a lovely colour to the car. Um, I was looking at a few of these, um, they do a, a couple of different blue colours which do look good but this one came up, it was local to me and I thought the Stratus Grey was, in my opinion, probably one of the best colours. I do like the Phoenix Yellow but I've never seen one up for sale. Things we'll be doing, I've ordered press plates so I'll be putting that on. My personal plate will swap. Um, I'm going to de-chrome this. I'll get some black grills. Uh, they're not a lot of money. I'm, I'm not a fan of the not a fan of the chrome surrounds. Uh, apart from that, there's not a huge amount I'm going to do. I've considered wrapping the roof. At the moment, it's just body colour, but I was thinking about wrapping just this roof panel a gloss black. So it's an extension of the window to window, keeps it all black. I may tint these black back three windows, but I, I haven't decided on that. In terms of the interior, we are standard. I decided to go for a car that didn't have the sat nav. Uh, anything that did have a sat nav, I didn't consider um, because I, I personally think it dates it. It's the same. Well, it was a very similar system to what was in the E46 M3 and in my opinion it was terrible uh, it's just it's not worth the hassle it dates the car maybe back in 2006 it was a desirable option but I don't think uh, I don't think the sat nav is up to much these days so this is the 
one with electric seats. It's a memory seat on the other side. They're also heated. So I was, I was quite specific with the spec I wanted. Had to have the heated and electric seats. Didn't want the, uh, didn't want the sat nav. Um, and I wanted either a black or a red interior, depending on the color of the car. Um, with the gray, I think black or red would have worked very well. But there's a lot of ones that are sort of a creamy beige color. And to, to be honest, it's just not for me. I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of like a creamy beige. It, it, again, I, I, I personally think it dates the car. It makes it look older than it, than it probably actually is. Uh, in terms of interior, people recommend to get the ZHP gear knob. I think it's a little bit, a little bit heavier. Uh, I think it might be a little bit shorter than standard. So that's something I'm going to look at getting. They're not a lot of money. Uh, I also wanted to make sure I got a, a manual car rather than an automatic. Um, nothing wrong with the automatic, but I thought straight six engine. It's got to be a manual. Uh, not really that fast on, on autos. So. Uh, Hence going for this. I've just taken that side vent out because the cup holder mechanism had stopped. So uh, I've managed to uh, uh, I've managed to source a new cup holder. So that'll be going in on Tuesday. So a couple of days time. One thing I didn't realise it's got a sort of a an auto dimming rear mirror. That wasn't something I expected the car to have, but nice little feature. Um, I've also got uh, a six CD changer in there. But yeah, it, overall it's a it's a lovely car. It's great fun. Um, it's all a bit cold and slippy out at the moment. Been beginning of February in 2019, so I've uh, I've not really given it too much in the way of a a beasting. Wipers. I'll get some Aero blades just to drop them down a little bit. They'll look a little bit smarter. Also, a beasting aerial. I think that's what they're called, the little stubby ones. So you just have that bottom piece. I think that would look quite nice. In the boot, decent sized boot actually. That's the nice thing about it. I got my quick detailer in there. Cause I'm a Horrible yellow filament lamp, but I'll, uh, I'll replace with LED items. Uh, won't take won't take long and again not a lot of money to do but yeah I'll be doing another review of this in a couple of weeks once I'm sort of really used to it as a, a bit of a follow-up to that that's gonna be up for sale shortly and this will be on its new plates so uh, keep watching this space and I'll uh, I'll continue with the videos thanks for watching